So today uh, I'm going to be with Finn and we're going to be looking at eye contact. Eye contact is a wonderful tool to incorporate into your training uh, because it develops communication and control with the dog. There's only one species in the entire planet whose brain has evolved to be able to read the human face and that's the dog. So we often hear stories of, well my dog knows when it's going to go for a walk before I even say anything the dog's watching you and it watches where your eyes are going and if you look out the window and you look at the coat rack and where your waterproof coat is the dog recognizes that these uh, are markers that you're about to take it for a walk um, I've trained dogs where I only have to give facial expressions and my dogs will carry out the desired behaviors because the dogs start to learn to read my read my face apparently they read the left hand side of your face but for today's exercise, we're going to be looking at eye control. So the eventual um, result will look something like this. Finn! Good boy. Force! So if he's looking at me, he can't be looking at anything else. So this is also very helpful for a reactive dog. Even if I move. Force! He maintains eye contact, looking up at me. Even though he knows there's a piece of food in his hand. Yeah. Force. Who knows the cheese is here? Okay. So I'm going to show you now how we teach that. The first step is obviously to have a dog that wants to train and uh, wants a treat. So I'm just using a little bit of cheese that I've got. The first exercise uh, starts from the front with the dog sat there. So you need a decent sit stay. Now I'm going to show the dog I've got food in both hands. Then I'm going to raise my hands up and I'm going to crucify my arms out to the side. Now in the beginning your dog will stare at the hand with the food in and you, you have to be patient. You may even need to make a little noise out of the mouth to get the dog to break looking at your hand and look up at what's creating the noise, your face. The moment the dog looks at your face you're going to mark and release the dog to the reward. So he's looking at the hand, the hand goes up, look. Okay. Now we don't want to have our hands here or here because it's impossible for us to tell what the dog's looking at. And it's very hard for him to, to understand if he's doing this when he's, uh, when he's looking. It's very easy for him to understand if he has to do this. It's a very distinct difference. So my hands go out to my side. He knows I've got cheese in my hands. My hand goes out to the side. Okay. Now obviously Finn's done this, so he does it straight away and makes it look easy. You've got to be very patient. Don't ask the dog to hold the look on your face. Just reward the moment the dog looks at your face. Look. Okay. Alright. Finish. Alright, so. I extend my hand. Now the dog is going to stare at, at the hand that he thinks the food is in. Now there's food in both hands. If he stares at this hand and then looks at my face, when I release him, I'm going to reward with this hand. So I'm going to show him I've got cheese in this hand, he knows. And, uh, look. Okay. Sit. Look. Okay. So Finn's making it look very easy by, by straight the face. But what you'll find in the beginning, sit, is a dog will stare at one hand or the other. You always reward with the other hand that the dog was looking at before it looks at your face. All right? So if you can get both hands up and the dog is very quickly um, not looking at the hand but looking at your face, that's the time to add your command look. What you don't want to do is be saying look, look, look when the dog is staring at your hands. Wait until the dog, don't say anything initially, just bring your hands up. The dog stops looking at the hand, looks at your face. Okay. Release and reward. When you know that when you bring your hands up and stretch them out, the dog is almost instantly going to look at your face, then you put the command in. Look. Okay. The next step is to start making that a little bit more difficult and adding distractions. So, sit. Now I'm going to move my hands around, which is really going to draw attention to the food in them. And again, I'm going to let him sniff. There you go. He knows I've got loads of cheese in my hands. So my hands come out. Look. Now I'm going to move one. And the other. If he looks at the hand that's moving, this one, again I'm going to reward with the other one. Okay. So you should be able to get to a point to sit when your dog is ignoring the hands moving. Look. 
Okay. Alright, I am giving the food on the release marker. And the reason I'm using the release marker and not the positive marker is that what I don't want to do is go, look, good, and then feed. Because the dog will start to preempt the food being given to him on the positive marker. I want to use the positive marker to extend the length of time he looks at me. So, but I don't want him breaking eye contact to look at the hand when he hears the positive marker. So I, I want the picture eventually to look like this. Look. Good. Good look. Good. Okay. Once I have that, sit. Look. Good. Good look. Good. Okay. I can then start changing my position. Sit. So instead of being front onto the dog, I'm going to come slightly at an angle. Sit. Look. Okay. And then gradually over repetitions, that angle is going to become greater. Sit. Now it's hard because you can't see the food in this hand, but he knows it's behind his head. Look. Good. So we looked at this hand, so I'm going to reward with this one. Okay. Sit. Look. Good. Good look. Okay. And then the final step is to come to the dog's side. Sit. Sit. Look. Okay. Sit. So he knows the food is here. Look. Good look. Good. Good luck. Okay. So an excellent way of uh, developing communication and control. So you see it used with lots of dogs before they're allowed to go retrieve the bird that's been shot in the gun dog world. The dog looks at the owner for permission to go. In the protection world, in the police uh, GP world, sometimes we'll get the dogs to check in with us before we send them as a control mechanism, a safety catch. With reactive dogs, if he's walking down the street, he can't be looking at the other dog and letting that pressure cooker build and build to the trigger point. If he's staring up at me and, for us, for us, he's given me this level of concentration when I ask for it for 20 seconds as I walk down the street while I go past a group of school children or another dog, he can't be thinking about them and getting excited by them. Okay. Right. And that is the basics of um, starting to get a dog to look at you on command, All right, which develops that communication and control. So I hope that made sense and you enjoyed it. Thanks.